Okay, welcome back to the final video in data representation. And here we have some calculations to do based on what we've learned so far. So we've got four different scenarios. So let's have a look at this. We're going to start with the first one. A camera detector has an array of 1920 by 1536 pixels. A color depth of 16 bits is used. So it's using 32,768 colors. Um, which we don't need to worry about for this, but that's basically how many colors based on what we learned in the last video. Calculate the size of a photograph taken by this camera. Give your answer in mibibytes or megabytes. So it's going to take a photograph like so. And one side of it is going to be 1920 by 1536. Okay, so we're working out the area, first of all. So we've got to multiply both of those together. 1920 multiplied by 1536 equals 2,949,120 pixels. So we've got two, we've got all these pixels. So let's put this down here, two, 2949120 pixels, and we've got to multiply that basically by 16. Lots and lots of multiplications, lots and lots of absolutely massive numbers. So we're going to multiply basically this, the area, by the color depth. 029185. 47. So 47,185,920 is the area, the array, the number of pixels times by the color depth. So we've moved this into bits. Okay. And we want it in megabits. Okay. So how do we do this? Basically, to get it, we're going to get it from bits into bytes. Okay. So we're going to divide this number by 8, okay? So if we divide that number by 8, we get, let's do this, we're going to get a number of 5,898,240. So this is bytes. Okay? But we've got to get it into megabytes. So, but first of all, let's think about our file sizes. We've got bytes, then we've got kilobytes, then we've got megabytes. So in order to get into kilobytes, we'd have to divide it all by 1024. But to get it into two stages, we're going to first of all divide it by 1024, 5760. And then we're going to divide that again by another 1024 to turn it into megabytes. So at the moment it's in kilobytes, kilobytes, now we're going to turn it into megabytes. So in order to do that, we're going to divide it again by 1024, and we should get a total of 5.625 megabytes. And that is your answer. Okay, so that's the first one done. Right, the second one. Let's draw this out, and this time it is 1536 multiplied by 1024. And of course, we need to multiply that by 24. So let's do it this way 1536 times 1024 equals 1,572,000. 1, 864 and again these are pixels okay we need to multiply that one five seven two eight six four multiplied by 24 which gives us a grand total of 37 million seven hundred and forty eight thousand seven hundred and thirty six and these are bits so, what do we do with that? Well, we've got to divide it into bytes. 
again if we divide that number by 8 to get it from bits into bytes we end up with a number 4,718,592 bytes okay but we need to turn this into what is it saying how many photographs could be stored on a 16 gigabyte memory card so let me write this down here 16 gigabytes okay equals how many bytes well it equals if we go back to think about the the first one we go 1024 multiplied by 1024 so we're going from bytes to first of all kilobytes then to megabytes and then to gigabytes we need to times it again by 1024 and because we've got 16 of them we're going to have a massive massive number to get 16 gigabytes so 1024 multiplied by 1024 multiplied by 1024 multiplied by 16 equals 17 one seven nine eight six nine one eight four okay a massive number okay that's this that's 16 gigabytes in bytes so we need to say we need to divide this or rather we need to divide this see how many times this goes into this we would get a grand total of 3,640 images, photos on our camera. It's actually 3,640.888 recurring, but of course we can't have 0.8 of a photo. Oh my word. Okay, so that answer I'm going to put there. 3,600 and 40 photos okay so let's have a little look at the next question question three audio is being sampled at a rate of 44.1 kilohertz using eight bits two channels have been used so it's in stereo calculate the size of a one second sample in bits okay so the sample size equals four four one zero zero well i've done that because it's kilohertz, so I've turned it into hertz. 44,100 hertz, okay? And then I'm going to times that by 8. So this is hertz. This is bits. And then we're going to times that by 2, because that's the number of channels, okay? So it's hertz times bits times channels which equals 705,600. And of course that is bits. Okay? That is the answer to A. So let's write that in. 7. <coughs> now what we're going to work out now is the size of a 30 second audio recording in megabytes. So for part B, I've got to multiply that figure there by 30. Okay, but then I've got to turn it into megabytes. So let's do the calculation 30 times 705,600, which would equal 21,168,000 like so. And that is, again, that's in bits. So of course, as with the previous question, so first we need to get it into bytes. So we're going to divide this by eight to get a total of 2,646,000 bytes. And then we need to divide that, 1,024, to get kilobytes. And then divide again by 1,024 for us to get megabytes. Okay. So doing that, divided by 1,024, divide again by 1,024, we should get a total of 2.5 megabytes. 
Okay, so 2.5 and I megabytes. And finally, question four. We have a typical song stored on a music CD is 3 minutes and 30 seconds long. Okay. Um, assuming each song is sampled at 44.1 kilohertz, 4, 44,100 samples per second, and 16 bits are used per sample, each song utilizes two channels. Calculate how many typical songs could be stored on a 740 megabyte CD. Okay, well, let's do the multiplication first of all. We need to go, as before, 4, 4, 1, 0, 0, multiplied by 16 bits, multiplied by 210, that's the number of seconds, 60, 60, 60, 180, plus 30, and then we're going to times it by 2 because each song uses two channels. So we get, in bits, a grand total, if we multiply all that together, 296,352,000 bits. Wow, okay. So what are we going to do with that? Well, we're going to turn it into bytes first of all, and then we've got to turn it into megabytes, the same as we did with the last one. So. Let's take this number and we're going to divide it by 8 to get a total of 37, this is coming this way, we're doing the dividing, 37044000 bytes. Okay, but we're going to turn that into megabytes, so again, divided by 1000 and 24, and then divided by 1024, we should get 35.33 megabytes. Okay, so this is the um, this is for one track, 35.33 for one track. But what it's saying is how many of these typical songs, based on this size, how many of them will fit on a CD that is 740 megabytes. So what do we need to do? I'm going to divide 740 megabytes divided by 35.33, which gives me a total of 20.94. Well, of course, we can't have 0.94 of a song, so the total would be 20 songs. Okay, so we've taken all the elements what we've learned previously with, with um, question three and the other questions um, to get the answer to this one here. Quite complicated sums, but I'm just going to write this down here 20 songs. Okay, and there are your answers first one, second one, one, two, three, and four. That is it for all the questions on chapter one data representation. Thank you very much indeed, and I'll see you for chapter two.